Hi everyone, my name is Miranda Capriotti and I am a nutrition educator for the CalFresh Healthy Living UC program in El Dorado County. Today we're going to be talking about push-ups. Push-ups are one of my favorite exercises because it really is a full body workout. They work everything from our chest, our shoulders, our triceps, biceps, our core, even our legs get exercised when we're doing a push-up. And they also don't require any equipment. So long as you have some ground beneath your feet, you can find a way to do a push-up. So to begin, we're gonna start by talking about form. Proper form is really critical when we exercise because if we aren't doing it correctly, we're not gonna get the most out of our workout and we could ultimately injure ourselves. Um, proper form for a push-up really starts with our upper body. We want to make sure that our hands um, are below our shoulders and that our hands, wrists, elbows are all aligned. We also wanna make sure that our feet are no more than 12 inches apart. You can place your feet a little bit closer together if you'd like to engage your core a little more though. We also wanna make sure that our head, neck, back, and feet are all aligned and you shouldn't have your hips tucked in or your back hunched over. You really wanna make sure you can draw a straight line from the crown of your head all the way to the heels of your feet. Now for the movement. When you lower yourself for a push-up, you can either have your arms bend out to the side, sort of like this, um, which makes your body in a T formation, or you can have them tucked into your sides. If you are someone who's prone to elbow pain, you might find that the tucked in position is a little bit better for you. You wanna lower yourself low enough so that your upper arms are parallel to the floor. This helps to ensure that all of the muscle groups are engaged. So if you're not quite ready to do a traditional push-up, there are also a few other modifications that you can try. The first is um, placing your knees on the ground instead of your feet. And the second is to do push-ups at an incline. So you could use a sturdy desk, the wall, a heavy box, or some yoga blocks, whatever you have on hand. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the traditional push-up for you um, and I'm also going to do it with a few of the modifications that I mentioned so you can see what all of this looks like in action. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope this is, encourages you to um, give some push-ups a try today. Uh, what I recommend is to start small if you're new to push-ups. Give yourself a goal of doing maybe 10 a day. If you're able to do more than that, go for it. Try that for a week and see if you are able to notice a difference in how much um, stronger you've gotten in just that short amount of time. Take care and happy exercising.